Well, hello again. I am back at Chinny Chin. I have not. I don't. I don't live in this house, by the way. I will. I will live in this house, but I've got things to do. And and one of the reasons I stopped by was, believe it or not, I've not yet cleared out everything from the Suburban. I have, let's see, where are those glass shelves? There. I have cleaned out my travel things, luggage, but everything except my purchases. I've not cleaned out my purchases because I wanted to do some kind of little reveal where I shared some of the some detail about the items. And I, after I'd had an opportunity to do a little bit of research, and I really wanted them staged somewhere cute. I wanted to be able to take them out and they are stuffed in every little nook and cranny in that car. They are under the seats in the tire wells all over it and I have to return the car nobody's needed it I haven't needed it I've gone to mother and daddy's a few times for lunch but I haven't been I haven't really been out and about still it's becoming a little imperative that I get some of that get some of that done and cleared out but I definitely wanted to make a little bit of a production out of it. I just thought that would be fun. I need an attractive place to set up, to pull things out of their bags, and to, to do a little show and tell, and to display them. And I just recently found this Drexel Heritage Cabinet. It's an Accolade line. I think it is, uh, it's pretty old, but it's very good quality. And I like it a lot. And I don't know what to do here. The house is not inhabited. As you can see, I keep bringing things in here. Ooh, I need to change that uh, humidifier. It's amazing that this thing fills up with water so quickly out of the air. Just water out of the air. So this really was not supposed to be a tour of Chinny Chin, but now that I'm down here, it is kind of fun, and I do want to show it off, and I want to decorate the heck out of it, I'm dying to, ah, goodness knows I have all my stuff collected, artwork, sculpture, I'm not going to let myself be obsessed about how I look. I'm just not. If I do that, I will never get this YouTube thing off the ground. If I become obsessive about vanity and stuff like that, this isn't going to work. I'll talk more about that later. I have had some time to reflect and think about that. Because I know I came across as an ignoramus most of the time. And I don't care. Part of that was a deliberate choice. And I'll explain more about that later. 